right, welcome back to this Chargers franchise. As you know, we threw five interceptions and had six turnovers in our last game against the Dolphins and lost the game by three points after a game-ending interception. And now we fall to 7-6, and six, now behind the Jets and the Patriots, who the Patriots own the seventh seed. We now need to climb above both of them to try and make the playoffs. The Jets have dropped two in a row. We've dropped one, and the Patriots have won their last game. So we need both of them to lose, and we need to win this game against the Titans and Derrick Henry to sneak back into the playoffs. The Jets have the Lions, and the Patriots have the Raiders. It's not looking promising, and I already know damn well I destroyed Herbert's stats with those five picks. Yeah, he's now got 15 interceptions on the year. He only had 10. So I absolutely botched his stats for this year from that one game. And I'm not going to switch any of the sliders. I'm just going to play it as it is. And see if we can try and get Nazir Adderley back. Maybe. He's like, do, do you want... Like, I offered you this. This should be plenty, bro. This should be plenty for you. I don't want to be giving you that much. That's a good offer. Okay, so we get Nazir Adderley back. And that is really the only person I wanted to re-sign. Yes. Weekly strategy. Yep. Defend the inside run. Correct. Uh, defense. You'll be fine. Offense. Throw it deep. I always do that, but we are going to half pads. Uh, we're going to split. Uh, split and split because uh, Herbert, Eckler, and Allen were, whatchamacallit, a bit fatigued last time. So we'll give them a little bit of a, little bit of a break. And we'll hope they're not fatigued because we don't need injuries. This We already have plenty of them. And they are not. They actually get um, healthier. Minus five fatigue. And we have upgrades. I will definitely take it. Derwin James gets an upgrade. Uh, we are going to upgrade his, uh, I guess, hybrid I want to upgrade. And that is going to get him up to a 95 overall. His morale is down. I can understand why after that game we just had. And Zion Johnson is the next one I'm going to upgrade. The other two I don't care about. We'll upgrade his power. He's still 72 overall somehow. Um, but yeah, now we... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now we hop into the game against the Titans. All right, the Titans get the ball. To start off this game. And I have a feeling they're going to go run to start it. So I'm going to use their Drew Tranquil and Blitz. And they I was correct. And they get about two yards. I'll take it. And he's gone, ain't he? He's gone, ain't he? Yep, this, yep, this is going to be a bad game, bro. This is going to be a bad game. Yep, he's all, three rushes, 73 yards. Yep, this is going to be fun. I ran a Blitz on that play too. And he still destroyed us. This is not going to be fun. All their offense is going to be is running. As they're going to not score here somehow. They get to the one. Second and goal. And they are indeed passing. I do not want Khalil Mack in coverage. Of course he's going to be in coverage. They are. What was that? What do you guys. Why would you run a QB draw? Third and goal now. And we almost threw him into the end zone by the way. Not a fan of that. Uh, we're going to. I'm going to rush Drew Tranquil here maybe. I'm assuming they're going to run. They do not run. That is a touchdown, man. That wasn't even because of me using Drew Tranquil. That's just bad defense from Derwin James. All right, I got to have a redemption game for Justin Herbert today. Cannot throw. I do not want to throw a pick. My goal is to not get a single turnover in this game. We already saw how bad our defense is going to be against Derrick Henry. We already saw that in full effect. So we might as well try and do something on offense, which we've been able to do. We scored nearly 30 points in both the games we've played so far. As I was hoping Matt Filer would get that block, but we still get the conversion. We get the first down. But yeah, we, we need to be all offense. No turnovers. Austin Eckler has led us down the field with the running game so far. Can we cap it off with the score? About to find out when I throw this ball away because everyone's covered. Second and goal here. It's not looking promising. I can tell you that much. Probably should have ran the ball there. Joshua Palmer, though, is going to be in the end zone. First score of the get day. Not, nope, not trying to say that. Of the day for the Chargers. Third and ten. They got to midfield with one huge catch from Robert Woods. Because, you know, defense was caught sleeping again. And, yep, there's another big catch. Man, our defense. This secondary needs help. Like, this offseason, I got to completely rebuild this defense. Because, man, it is bad. Especially our secondary. It is awful. And Khalil Mack is getting double teamed. So that doesn't help. And they are already marching down the field. The first time they did it with the run game. 
Now they're doing it with a passing game. That doesn't help us at all. The fact that they're doing it with the passing game. And, yep, I read that like a book. But it didn't matter. Oh, my God. Derwin James forces another fumble. That's what we need. And now we got a second and 21. Because our offensive line can't block because they're all injured. Not having Rayshon Slater is a huge hit to our offensive line. I wanted to run the same play, but I, I guess not. I guess, I guess the hurry up option doesn't want to work. Mike Williams should possibly, maybe, perhaps be open on this play. And he is. That's a risky pass. He dropped it. Mike, bro. I know I, I drew you into the defender, but you got to you hold on. And now we got to deal with Derrick Henry back on the field after not being able to score. And, yeah, this is not going to go well. I can imagine. As, okay, Khalil Mack, outpower him. All right, we got a minute 12 to get down the field and score. We also get the ball at halftime. So, we'll see. I see you wide open, Keenan. Uh, we'll hurry up offense here. And, yeah. We'll see what can be done. Two-minute warning is here. That was an awful pass. Keenan Allen holds on. Did that say? Why did that say two-minute warning? I was about to say, hold on. That's not how that works. Keenan holds on to that one. Inaccurate, under pressure, way too high. And he grabs it for the reception. I'm going to keep dumping it off. Keenan Allen is the man. Another eight-yard gain. We are moving the sticks. I just want to get to maybe field goal range. Field goal range would be fantastic right now. But we need to not use many more timeouts. Josh Palmer! Huge reception and he's gone! Touchdown Josh Palmer to most likely end this first half with a 7-point lead. We got a second and one. We've made it all the way down to the 7-yard line with the mix of some Mike Williams and some of that man right there, Austin Eckler, with 10 rushes, 72 yards on the day. They are most likely blitzing here. I'm going to have to pass. And Trey McKitty once again in the end zone. I don't know how many touchdowns that is. It's probably like two or three since we started this series for him. That, that two-point conversions he's gotten. But that route, that play right there is beautiful for him. And we're back in the end zone with a 21-7 lead. Start of the fourth after an unventful, unventful, uneventful third quarter. Still 7-21. to The... Uh, I was going to say the Tannehills. The Titans have marched all the way down to the 22-yard line now with a third and eight. Derrick Henry has kind of been held in check after that huge run earlier in the, I think it was the first quarter. Uh, he's kind of been held in check a bit, but uh, we can't really get pressure on the quarterback. It'd be nice as we're going to force a field goal. He had all day in that pocket. Oh, no, they're going for it. They are going, f they are going for it. Okay, I, I respect it. I respect it as a Chargers fan. As Khalil Max going to get pressure, and he mosses. Who was that? I don't even know who this human being is. Who was on that coverage that just botched that? Let me see who you were. It was Bryce Callahan, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, that's why I'm not resigning you. We'll see if Keenan Allen can get open on this route. You already know how great his route running is. And he's going to get space. Getting to midfield for the first town. Justin Herbert, 12 for 15, 200 yards and three touchdowns. Definitely not as many uh, pass attempts as previous games because there has been less offensive possessions than previous games as Gerald Everett is going to get wide open and get down to the 25. So far, crossing our fingers, no turnovers. The Jets did win, though. So that doesn't help us in our playoff push. We need them to lose at least one game if we want a chance. So that, yeah, that, that doesn't help at all. Austin Eckler, though, getting another first down helps a lot. So with the Jets winning, we're going to really need the Patriots to lose. As Gerald Everett, I'm going to try and get it to you. I do. I took way too long to notice him. I was just, look how wide open he was, and I was still scared to throw it. Get down to the three-yard line. Three minutes to go. Can we get in the end zone with Austin Eckler? We can! Austin Eckler basically seals the game for us, which will be a huge victory as we're going to go up 14 points with three minutes left in the fourth. 
And that seals it. Asante Samuel with a pick six. I wasn't talking to you, ma'am. I was not talking to you, Alexa. Stop it. Asante Samuel, is his face scan is in the game. Third straight game. With, why are you still listening to me? Alexa, stop. Alexa, I am not talking to you. Thank you. Asante Samuel, his third straight game with an interception. This time he brings it to the house to definitely steal the game. That's another pick. Michael Davis. That's it. That's the game. Two straight picks on two straight possessions. And we are planning on running the ball and running that clock out. Hopefully they don't call timeouts because this game is over. And that will do it. Austin Eckler, his best game of the season so far. Three turnovers for the Titans. And that will do it for this one as we pick up a big win. Huge victory over one of the top teams in the AFC. Herbert with a perfect pass rating after the worst game of his career last game. 15 for 18, 251 with three touchdowns. Rushing-wise, Eckler, best game of the season. 21 yard attempts, 117 yards, and a touchdown. They outperformed Derrick Henry like yard-wise. Obviously, Derrick Henry dominated. But, I mean, that's scoring summary. If you go back... Most of those yards were in the first quarter. I, I remember the stat popping up. He had like three rushes for 83 yards. So if that was correct, three rushes for 83 yards in the first quarter, that means he went 11 for 16 for the rest of the game. So we, we had him on lockdown. Receiving-wise, it was a balanced attack with Keenan Allen and Josh Palmer, or Joshua Palmer. Uh, six receptions, 89 yards for um, Allen. But Palmer had the touchdown with two 63 yards. Mike Williams, two catches, 44 yards. Trey McKitty had the other touchdown. And then defense, the man, Asante Samuel, his third straight game with the pick. He is racking up the totals. And then Michael Davis with the game ceiling pick. And that is a big win for us heading on to, I believe we're facing the Broncos. No, we're facing the Colts next. It goes Colts, Broncos, Rams to end the season. We need to pick up all those wins and hope the Jets and the Patriots drop at least one. But that's it for me. GG.